What's up, people? How are we doing today? This is Mark, the iCloud helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. And in this video today, I'm going to show you a remote management bypass for any devices from iOS 9 to the latest beta of iOS 13. Now, why I'm doing this video is because uh, a lot of people who have been uh, using um, my iOS 14 video uh, to do bypasses on, uh, they're using it on other betas like, you know, 13, 12, etc. <coughs> and it's not working. Um, and basically that video, my other video is specifically for iOS devices from 14.0 to 14.8.1 um, and then I have other videos um, I have another video for iOS 15 obviously that's the premium paid for uh, service and um, there's this one here I'm doing today which covers anything from iOS 9 up until the latest iOS 13 beta and it's the most simplest bypass. It's free, it's fully untethered, and it's just absolutely straightforward. First off, I'd like to say, you know, I have been off um I have been off the scale for a while now, um, because I've been doing courses. Um I've recently finished a course in JavaScript um with algorithms and data structures and i've been really busy on those type of courses and that's why you know i've sort of been off the grid so to speak so um you know i've i've come back i'm gonna do this video today um there's gonna be more videos to come um and you know i i just need to point out a few things before i do it um and that is basically the fact that this method is the most simplest one to do a lot of people don't know about it uh they're watching my video for ios 14 which is a free service um and uh, with a lot of people it's not working for them they're messaging me they're like why ain't it working this and that i ask them what operating system they're using and they're either saying 12 13 or ios 9 if they've got like a mini one or a ipad 2 3 or ipad 4th gen ios 10 etc and you know they're wondering why it's not working um so basically in this video this video covers anything from iOS 9 to iOS, uh, the latest iOS 13 beta. And yes, it's free, it's fully untethered. Um, but I do need to advise you that um, if you're on iOS 13, don't restore it through iTunes after doing this. Because it'll go straight to iOS 15. And yeah. The lock will come back on iOS 15, which means then you've got to watch my other YouTube video, um, which is a premium service. I'd like to give a big shout out to FRP File on YouTube. A big YouTuber, big iOS developer. He recently done an MDM uh, bypass video on iOS 15, um, just earlier today, actually. Um, and he, he's very good at his work and, you know, a, a major shout out to that man for, for, you know, for, for making it happen. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to crack on now and show you how easy this is. Any iOS device this works on. Yeah. I'm going to show you exactly how easy it is to basically fully untether bypass and basically get this done without going forwards and backwards like you do on my iOS 14 video. So let's crack on, shall we, people? OK. 
Okay, as you can see, iOS version 13.3 and swipe up. So you go remote management, um, obviously the obvious, select next, ask for username, password, credentials, blah, blah, blah. You know, don't want that, do we? So, um, yeah, basically, I'm, ju I'm just going to show you now how to um, basically do the bypass on it. So the first thing you want to do is head over here to your toolbox and select erase all data. And you want to tick the box and simply select erase all data. What you want to select here is automatically activate the device and i have read the above reminder in detail tick those two erase all data and now it's as you can see it's erasing the data let it do its thing um and yes yeah, it's, it's basically it's a simple process you know no going forwards or backwards and like i said you know, if you've got anything from iOS 9 or even iOS 8, but I can't see many users out there still using iOS 8, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but yeah, this method works and it's absolutely free. Um, if you are using a phone and not an iPad, uh, if you're using a phone or a cellular iPad, take out the SIM card as it can cause a malfunction. And no, we don't want that, do we, people? So it'll erase the device for now. Um, even if it fails on erasing, it doesn't matter. It's still good to erase it in the first place because it could take some of the encryption out of the profiles the MDM profiles. It might, it might not, um, but it's, it's worth trying anyway, you know? So, and yeah, I've been off the grid doing courses and, um, you know, now I'm back on the grid. I'll have a few more videos come in. Uh, be sure to see my my previous video before this one's a good one. It's a full, it's a full MDM removal, but it's for iPads only that are Wi-Fi only, um, and they are certain models. So, in that video, do uh, read my link in the description below to see what iPads are compatible for doing that. Okay. Right, I think we're good to go here, people. So once this is finished now, we'll probably come up in red, failed, but don't worry if it does. But sometimes you erase it and then you have to activate it. But sometimes a raisin air will activate it anyway, you know? Let's check this out a sec. So it's gone English Kingdom. It's 
quickly put in my Wi-Fi password a minute. Okay, now as soon as I select join, it's probably going to activate it straight away. But if it don't, don't worry about it. Retrieving configuration, almost there people. So we're at the data and privacy, continue, remote management. Here we go, back to where we were now. Next, same thing, ask for credentials. So at this stage by here, simply select iDevice. Oh, timed out. Okay, connect the back up. Here we go. So, on our device activated, uh, it says yes already activated. Sometimes you've got to select yes by there to activate it. Um, so, it says it's already activated. So, if we go back, back, so then next, next. Um, as it says it's already activated it should actually go straight to it um, tell you what let's do this bit again right. usually this ain't the case you know usually it would have been done already by now It's a straightforward process. this is how we're supposed to work well why this didn't happen the first time around i don't know <laughs> but it's definitely happening the second time around because when it says activated there it's now saying no but i'll just basically showing you how simple this is rather than using ios 14 and going forwards backwards backwards forwards so to speak you know um, failed to erase data okay no worries now it's time to work the magic go over to iDevice and let's just wait for the Apple logo to go to the end a minute people and then I'm going to select activate now. And just like that, it's going to go straight into the device. 
Here we go. And activate now. And there we go. The setup is skipped. Activation is ticked. Select start. Done. Activation succeeded. Skipped succeeded. And look at that. Look at that, people. We are in. No going forwards, no going backwards, straight process, in. Just like that. And this is on an iPhone XR. Like I said, it works on all iOS devices, even iPod Touch. You know, it works on all of them. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, basically sometimes, as you could tell the first time around, it's like it malfunctioned and didn't activate the first time. But when I tried it the second time, it did. And then it enabled me to activate it and then it went straight into the screen. As you can see, simple process, do what I do. And just like that, it gets done. That simple, you know? Um, really hope you've liked this video, people. And yeah, basically, um, be sure to smash that like and be sure to subscribe to the channel as there's plenty of videos where this came from and there's certainly going to be a lot more to come. I can tell you that. This is Mark, the iCloud helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. Bye for now, people. Bye for now.